Now at the train station, waiting for the train to Denisli and then Pamukkale. Pamukkale now. So I will check the entrance to the attraction which is these uh, white stones with the pools where there used to be water in there but not anymore. But there's also an ancient Roman city up there. This is how it looks like. the same as with Ephesus, you pay and you can go in there for one day and that's it. So uh, it's a large area, but uh, it would be better to spread it across two days, I guess. In the meantime, today and uh, maybe tomorrow, I uh, will have a look around the area and see what else is there to do here. I just had a nice lunch. This is uh, these are the pools. You can visit the pools as well down there. And it's a very nice view into the valley there. I will jump into the pool. So uh, I'm here at the Hamukale Hot Springs or whatever you may call this. I'm here outside of the gated area. Up there people are walking along the ridge. Most of the basins are empty as far as I have learned. They used to be full. And now all this flair, this magic of these uh, basins which you can see here here this the the water is flowing down from the hill and if the basins are empty uh, it's just the stone and the stone you can see here everywhere you don't need to go up there in terms of the ruins I have seen so many ruins and I would rather be interested in there's another city Roman city near here it's a few kilometers from here This is the lake where the water comes down and feeds the lake with the thermal thermal water, healing water. Uh, apparently there are also hot springs or hot water coming out from somewhere. I don't know. Uh, here is not so much. On the other side it's, it's coming down here. It's uh, Oh, there's a lot of fish in there. Small fish. Ah, look here. Now I'm at the stone. This is how it looks like. And you can touch it. I can touch it. Here. 
it's uh, very odd. This stone is very soft. It's some kind of limestone washed down by the water. You see these uh, rips, ripples. It's uh, from the water, from the water running down. They formed the water formed these rocks because they are very soft. So I'm now on the ridge here. Climbing around, they found out you don't have to go inside. To see this here, where the water comes down. of yesterday there are already a lot of people up there you can see them quite clearly against the white rocks I will be walking along down here and uh, up there to the other entrance um, let's see how far I will get hotter ballons they are now starting to land again I heard them all morning there were quite a few in the sky today it's very cloudy very it's not clear but uh, it's nice to hike uh, for hiking it's perfect because it's not so hot and uh, also you can see the tourist buses start to arrive here 
Uh, it's around 8 in the morning. And uh, the air is fresh. It is uh, really, from the nature point of view, it's a nice place. I'm here for hiking for the nature and not like in Ephesus to see ruins. I found out a little bit more about Hierapolis. Roman city was built here up on this plateau all the way, the whole stretch of around two, two or three kilometers. They have uh, amphitheater like, just like in Ephesus and Roman baths of course are up there in the middle. It was destroyed by an earthquake during the reign of uh, Emperor Tiberius in uh, 17 AD and that was basically the end of it. Before the Romans came there was nothing much. They haven't found any graves or anything here. So it's basically Roman. Also legend says that up there in the bath that Cleopatra had been here and took a bath in this place. If you research on the internet you will find this picture of the bath of Cleopatra with tons of people in there. They charge you for that. I'd rather be alone in the pool. Like yesterday, I was all alone in the same pool, same water, in the hotel. This wall here looks almost like a fortification wall for the city but on the other hand these seem to be natural stones so maybe they have used it or some parts may be built by people. It's uh, hard to say because it's a very consistent line of wall going down there and as this material is very soft if they used it to build a wall, it may look like that now. So I made it up the slope and along a kind of a canyon a riverbed. Uh, not exactly sure where I am now, but it seems I'm at the beginning of 
this area of the city, the ancient city. There are buildings here, maybe one of those hotels they built in the 60s and then they demolished later on when they became uh, UNESCO heritage in 1988. So this way is a little bit <laughs> more pleasant the other way was full of thorns and hard to walk here. This is the view down. Yes, here are the first buildings, clearly from the Roman era. And there are flags, that means this is probably the entrance. Okay, I'm inside now. So here I am walking through the necropolis where they put their dead people. There are lots of uh, tombs and sarcophagus. Uh, pretty rich. So there must have been rich people here because poor people were not buried like that. And it's uh, pretty big. It goes quite far. So the baths are next. This is basically the last part. What they actually do is they let a little water run down the hill to fill the travertines. But uh, actually, I don't think there's much water left in the natural part of it. And as you can see, there's a lot of people. And uh, they're all trying to get their feet into the water. And you can see from here, the natural pools are all empty.
night I'm uh, getting to the end of it I walked pretty much pretty long way I've walked down uh, below along uh, the travertines entered on the other side on the very far end of this place and walk back the 2.7 kilometers here which is the other end the other entrance there's another entrance down there to the travertines directly where you can enter the pools uh, these uh, few pools that are open down there it's nice you have to consider the masses uh, the many people coming here I'm glad to get out of here because uh, there's no infrastructure uh, you have no supermarket, you have no shops really that are interesting except tourist shops. I'm going to Antalya today, take the bus. I take first the minibus to Denizli and then the bus to Antalya, which is uh, quite close, uh, three and a half hours or so. I thank you very much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's been a tough hike here. But that's what I like about uh, this making of video, to show you also a little bit of another angle, not the mainstream view. You can see that anywhere on, on the internet, on YouTube or wherever you go, you see pictures of that place. I'm trying to show you a, a bit uh, a different angle. It's the same place, but maybe a different angle my kind of view. I do not follow the crowds as you may have noticed. This is why I make this channel to show a personal view, not a view that is especially popular or mainstream. Thank you, I will prepare, I will take a shower and then I will go on the bus.